Here's a question for you. Should you focus your planning on targeting competencies as we have stated all along? Or should you focus it on making the curriculum student-centered? These two goals might seem at odds with each other, but you can meet both these goals at the same time. You do this by making competencies reflect your understanding about your students and through the opportunities that arise in their worlds. You can focus on competencies and make curriculum student-centered in both of the following cases. In the case your institution needs to follow national, state, or international competencies, or if your institution designs its own competencies. First, you need to understand where your students are coming from in their lives. Students are often unable to explain their own culture in relation to curriculum. So your curriculum leaders have to understand student lives outside the classroom by talking to parents about this. This insight should frequently be sought. It may be used to either extend or supplement the competencies used at your institution. This may happen every time there is an opportunity to revise your competencies. This will bring student centricity right inside your competencies. This is a starting point towards building student-centered curriculum. This, along with the ideas of backward design, something we discussed in a separate video, set the stage for student-centered curriculum. But does putting student-centricity inside your competencies lower the bar? Does it remove competencies that are challenging for students to meet because their lives are difficult? Absolutely not. Your competencies are a common foundation shared by all your students to give them an equal footing in career and life. Putting student centricity inside competencies is the right way to teach with a goal of equality in learning. Additionally, it lets you set competencies that establish high expectations from everyone. This might involve more work than someone else who doesn't consider student centricity. For example, maybe you're a first language teacher and you find out that some of your students have weak sentence construction skills. These skills might be a very basic expectation for the competencies you are teaching. And maybe their skills are weak because the language you teach is not the first language spoken at their home. What does putting student centricity inside your competencies there look like? It involves breaking these skills into competencies and requiring them in the prior grade or level and then ensuring that every single student meets those competencies before moving ahead. That is no matter what their home language is, because believing in every student excelling is the first step in giving them a shot to do so. There is one case in which you may adjust expectations and either create a simplified list of institution-wide competencies or notes in course plans representing student needs. That is when you want to offer a learning pathway for students with physical and learning needs. It isn't straightforward to figure out how different the competencies should be from the main list. So we recommend that you find other resources to guide you through this thinking. Even then, you should try to uphold the principle of high expectations from everyone, all while setting students up for success.